Parks and Recreation and Greenways Board meeting here on July 27th at 9.03 a.m. This is a work session. And uh, first item on the agenda is to determine a quorum. And with myself, Bob Nunnekamp, and Christine McCulp, we do have a quorum. In addition, we also have our council liaison, Kimberly, here as well. Uh, next item on the agenda is the adoption of the agenda. And this was in our agenda packet, uh, primarily uh, we'll adopt the minutes from our last meeting. We, if you don't have it in front of you, we will, uh, in unfinished business items, uh, discuss the 2021 National Night Out uh, plans as they will be uh, uh, coming to fruition next week. And we will have a board meeting early that day, so if there's anything else that we need to address before then, we can do that as well. And then the, uh, the main reason for this work session <coughs> is a discussion of 2022 Marvin Day event planning, uh, just to check in on some of the items that we've been working on since our last meeting. Uh, there are no new business items, um, and uh, Austin's not here, so I'm not sure if we'll actually review the action items and ongoing list and then board member comments. Uh, do I hear a motion on the table to adopt the agenda as it is written? Second. Oh, he's quick. I second it. <laughs> Any further discussion? Move it over. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. Uh, the next item on the agenda is the adoption of the minutes from July 13th of 21. And I have a copy of that here. If anybody needs to see it, it was sent out in our agenda packet, but any uh, questions, concerns, changes, or edits that anyone feels need to be made? Do I hear a motion on the table to adopt the 7-13-21 minutes as they are written? So moved. Got to it faster than you. <laughs> Second. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. We may be nothing else, but we're going to be efficient. And then the <laughs> next item on the agenda is uh, unfinished business items number one, and that is a discussion of 2021 National Night Out. Derek, would you take it from there? Um, I think we're good to go. Uh, Banner should be here today. We put those up and publicize here at Town Hall and at the park. Um, Austin's going to send out some more reminders um, asking the band for uh, a flyer that promotes them so we can kind of who is the band Southern Express it's a okay. little bluegrass have they played band. there before I think they yeah, yeah, yeah they're, if they're, they're the good. ones that I heard before they were really good yeah, they were fun yeah um, so we can promote you know from the, that angle of live music um, Deputy Montgomery got a really nice donation um, from Publix, I believe, that said they would give um, 250 hamburgers and 250 hot dogs. Wow. That's so awesome. and, then take, and then he got a... Like that solves my mine dinner. I'm sorry. Monetary donation that will buy the buns, plates, um, other little stuff from... Did, did we... Um get a response from Firethorn whether they had that grill that we could borrow or were we going to bring our own? called him yesterday to okay. follow up with that, so I'm hoping I'll hear back from him today. And if um, not, we'll, we'll, just, just, we'll just have to Because it's like a really big grill. That's a really big grill, and when you're cooking that... No, that, things, yeah, that'd be a lot it, better. It does get flowing, but, but it, if you yeah. need to bring yours and I need to bring I mine or something like that, 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 I'm sure we can... Yeah, well, we can make it work. But... Uh, yeah, it'd be a lot that easier one to keep one. It's a lot going. easier if it's just the one, but we'll see. I think they had issues locating the last time. They could. So, I think we're good to go. Just and it starts at five thirty. Promote, promote, promote. Yeah, more or less. I think I told the band to do two sets, um, like a six to six forty-five, and then a seven to seven forty-five. Okay. Okay. I don't Very want to get ahead of the curve shit, here, but Marsh, you know, we'd like to have a, a place to put table. a table. A table. Yeah. Have, do you have any idea where that might be? In the barn. Okay, 
do it. That's all I can say. Well, well that's fine. That's, that's all I want. That's great. And we're talking about a week from today. Yeah. Yep. If we're talking about Crazy. promote, 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 I was hoping, I didn't realize Austin was going to be gone. I made some notes that we need to have something sent out every day this week and over the weekend and Monday and Tuesday mm -hmm. next week. So I don't know who, Christina, if you can do to that me, or. To me, email him right now and see what he's capable of. Or? Yeah, you can. Yeah, um, I, I, I know he's checking emails because he's already emailed me back about something this morning. Um, but I would think that we would want, you know, next door, MailChimp, you know, Twitter, Twitter Facebook, groups. whatever, whatever we have. Yeah. Every single day, just, you know, one week away, <laughs> four days, don't forget, you know, whatever. Yeah. You can have your countdown. That's right. But just have it sent out every day so that, you know. As, is anyone else other than Marsh going to be there like Marsh is going to be there? Um, <laughs> no, what you call it? Well, a bunch of the law enforcement. Well, yeah, like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they'll, they'll be there, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But anybody, I'm trying to think, is there any other? Did, did they discuss, uh, did, did the deputy discuss having someone from, um, am I confusing this with Marvin Day or somebody from the Waterfowl Rescue? Or There's Marvin Day. Yeah. Okay, that was good. Day. I'm yeah. sorry. They were no, just kind of. Okay. Coles will be there in the. Coles, Coles will be there to help. Yeah. Okay. They they send volunteers and he did they tell did us that they job. were going to do that. They do. Yeah. They really did. I just wonder if there's any other organizations. I don't mean like Marsh, but yeah. similar. Like, would the Boy Scouts want to be there? Something like that. That just you know fill up the space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and one of the things, things that people might be interested in. I, I'm sure you have what staff we have available to, to be around at that time, but how are we going to handle parking? Who are, gonna, who are we going to want to direct the parking part of it? That'll be all us. Yeah. The park staff. Okay. Flags. Do you guys have flags to direct, <laughs> like, airplanes? I just didn't know if you had enough <laughs> and you think you need more <laughs> or anything like that. You, you, you feel you're pretty You should, you should put on a safety yeah. vest. Okay. Safety first. We have this. Yeah. I have a couple of those. You have to come to the back right. of the park to see it. And not big enough for anybody. One time, but I've been there. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else then? Any questions, concerns? We, we will have the meeting the morning of. Mm -hmm. um, so next Tuesday morning we have the meeting as well. So any last minute things I think we could um, figure out by then. But... Uh, Derek, if you could just let me know about the grill, and then if not, I'll plan to make sure that I have mine. All and and I can bring too. one um, to. I mean, it's not huge, but it's yeah. you know regular. Okay. And I'll make sure it has gas. I I already have an extra gas. So <laughs> I'll bring that along too. Because that'd be real nice to bring that without. Because we almost had that issue one year. Yeah, we have some tanks too. Yeah. Yeah. We'll make sure. Even better. Full. You sure? All right, uh, any further discussion on National Night Out? All right, the next item in unfinished business is uh, discussion of Marvin Day celebration. So um, I know at our last meeting, there were a number of takeaways that each of us kind of had, um, and that was only about two or three weeks ago. So, um, you know, I guess I could start on a couple of the takeaways that I had. Um, one of them was uh, in regards to reaching out to the school, and it's probably the most critical one because yeah, location. figuring out the date and location is going to have a big impact on what we can do. Um, what I will say is it's a little difficult right now, for those of you that don't know, Donna Cook, who's been the principal there for many, many years and who I was directed that I need to speak to, resigned and has been replaced. Really? Um, there's a, so there's a new principal who I have... They, they have left a message for him, but he was just approved at like their July 13th meeting. Oh. Um, uh, Matt Asher used to be an assistant principal at Marvin okay. between 2012 and 2018. That's good. And has most recently been over at Monroe High School, I think, the last year. Um, so he's going to be the new principal. They promised me they'd, you know, get my request in front of him because... 
they said he would be the right person to start with. Okay. And then depending on what we're talking about, he would have to determine whether we'd have to go to the county yet or not. But because he's probably drinking from the fire hose right now, <laughs> he hasn't gotten back to me yet. Um, you know, I, I think the date that we had spoken about is that date in May. I think it's the 21st, which is a week before Memorial Day, because you don't want to get into that or after that, because then people start going away on vacations, graduations, all of those things. So, so I'm still trying to target that date, and I did mention that to them to, to try to get in front of them, because all of us, as we start having conversations, the first thing anybody asks, what's the date going right. to be, <laughs> you know? And, uh, you know, for some of the, the larger things and the availability to have a larger parking lot for, you know, some events in the evening and music, food trucks, things, it, it, I think it's going to be highly dependent on seeing if we're going to have access to a site like that. Or yeah, not. agreed. <clears throat> Do you want me to reach out and just tentatively ask Firethorn if we can't get the high school, if we can have it there? If we if we want to be wedded to that date, rather than maybe even one earlier, I would say yes. But gosh, I think about even when they've done fireworks and stuff like oh, that, it's crazy. and some of the parking issues and and stuff that they've had, even that would be pretty tough to do. Yeah. You know, I, I don't That's know that their parking lot is really. I think of yeah. unless maybe we did it like we. You know, I was gonna say we could set something up in the parking lot at like Publix, but. Yeah, the, even just, that, it would just overwhelm and they'd have no room for their shoppers, yeah, <laughs> you know. I know, that's yeah. what I was thinking. So. I mean, I don't know. I just don't know where else we would have it. I mean, maybe if we can't have it on the main field, maybe we can have it on, like, the practice field. Sure, yeah, and utilize the parking up at the top side. And, and even the back like. side, and people can walk around. I mean, yeah. they can get through. Because we may be running into, it is going to be the end of the school year, too. And there could sports. be playoffs. I know, and, that's what and, I was thinking. You know, so there will likely still be some remnants of, of things going on, whether they're playoffs yeah. at that point. And that's what I was thinking. This year too. and last year have kind of screwed me up to the schedule. But, yeah. Um, Okay, well, we'll just wait then. Yeah, I, and, and if I don't hear from them by the end of this week, I'll reach out to them again because it could yeah. just get lost in the shuffle. I and, definitely And, and I want to have something known by the time we meet next Tuesday. Yeah. You know, you know, if we got to start scrambling. And we could move, I mean, we've got, we've got it on the 21st right now. Yeah. We could move it to the 14th or the 7th. I mean, it's still going to be pretty yeah. nice weather. I mean, yeah. May's a pretty I'm just, I, I would think later in May we would be done with sports, but they're probably not going to know that until they get there. Like, that's the thing. Well, and yeah. late, then that next weekend is Memorial Weekend. Yeah. So that one's kind of out. And now you're in June yeah. and now you're graduating. Yeah. You know, at least the college. Yeah, I would just say, yeah, just keep following up, Johnson. And it's not like we will. need the stadium, like you said. You if, know, if we can't, I mean, I think that would be the preference. Nice. Yeah. But if we can't, then yeah, okay. Okay. All right. um, the other one that I was personally following up on was uh, talking about the equine uh, events, you know, and uh, I reached out to a, a friend of mine, Jill Grasse, who's actually very involved and plugged in to a lot of those folks she's worked with Marsh before and she's told me you know the, the, um, she's very professional and she has a lot of good contacts with them she's hesitant to start contacting them in particular yet again until yeah. we have a gate date because they have shows and things that they do with, with the different disciplines during that time um, but I'm, I'm really happy to have her involved and in order to support her um, I've got two or three other people that she knows also in that community. And I said to her, it's it's not mayor's event. It's going to be kind of some small offshoots because some of the people remember the mayor's events that we used to have. Um, but but just to, to help people, keep people aware of, you know, the types of things that they can offer in equestrian recreation in the area. We might have, you know, three or four sites broken up to morning and afternoon sessions where they show the different disciplines. She thought it was a great idea, really excited for it, as well as a couple of the other folks that I spoke to. I guess one question that I have is, does it make sense, you know, I guess we, in essence, as PRG, are going to be kind of 
the planning committee for Marvin Day, you know. Um, I, I don't see us necessarily creating another committee because it's going to be kind of the same people and we, we want to have that back and forth with council and things like that. But do we think about having any smaller subcommittee? Well, it wouldn't be a subcommittee because there's not a committee, but how would we coordinate somebody that might take lead of getting interested people in the car show? I forget, you know, who talked about that, right? Um, the people that are doing the equine, does it need to be a formal committee? How, how, what's the best way to handle that? Yeah, and this is something I've been thinking about too, so yeah, I'm interested I in mean, the answer. My gut reaction is no, I don't think it needs to be a formal committee. I think because we're going to be the ones that are running it, and again, council is full on board. So like, obviously Jamie, he'll help with whatever he needs yeah. to help with. Joe, I talked to him to talk to John um, about the cars, so like he's on board with the cars, and Bob too. Bob was like, I can help with the cars. Like, so council is fully on board with taking a chunk and kind of you know being in charge of it. So I feel like between us, staff, and and you guys, we can get. I don't. I just don't think we're going to need like a subcommittee for each like offshoot. Okay. And that's my gut. And if that's the case, because I, I think once you create a formal subcommittee, then the, you start with meeting laws and all of yeah. those other things as well. well so so would it make sense then maybe that we designate some leads of these different activities so. and then maybe invite them at least to one of our next meetings? I think so. Yes. Because yes. uh, yes. that's what I was thinking yeah. with the lack of a formal committee. Because I even, you know, like I, I told uh, Jill, you know, I said we, you know, I told her that we'll be available, but that we wouldn't expect her to show up to this meeting necessarily because we don't yes. even have a date yet. Yeah, I, but, I think so. And and it, again, council talks about it. It's on our it's on our work session and our regular meeting every single meeting up until like it will be that will just be a agenda item forever. Okay. So, so Derek's on point, correct? Derek's on point. So, so all so right in terms of reporting structure, if uh, just making these things up, Bob Owen Camp, I'm in charge of ice cream, and I'm in charge of. We did put you in charge of garden tours, and, and just garden so tours. you know, because yeah, you were gone, we did put you. We in. volunteered you for a lot when you're gone. So, so <laughs> I'm in charge of those, and I'm reporting into Derek, and my responsibility or accountability is to give him periodic updates. Because this is going to come sooner than later. Oh yes. And you don't want everything piling up at the end. And there's got to be some form of checklist management. The Bob Nunn Camp on this day is going to provide this information to you, mm -hmm. and you can provide the council where everything is. Otherwise, it's going to be a train wreck, in my opinion. Um, so. Or just a bunch of emptiness. Yeah. That's what I'm wearing to that. that so, just won't happen. so I'll report into Derek. Derek will set up a frequency, I'm assuming, of when we're going to meet and how we're going to inform him and update. <clears throat> Is that correct? I mean, Christina? Uh, so I'll prepare something that looks like this. That's basically the, the subcategory. This is equine. This is garden tour. 5K car show. Mm -hmm. Y'all will assign a point person, for example. Uh, garden yeah. Yeah. says Bob yeah. and then I'll get all the details as to what's needed what when where okay. how much that sort of thing and we'll have all these little templates put in place and he can manage these and then y'all kind of fill in the blanks with does that make sense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. so what I'm I'm working on so I had a similar thought is a spreadsheet where I can every meeting give it out and then update it for the next one exactly. so i've got a point person item you're working on what location if that applies what's the latest and what are the next steps so we'll get together yeah, I think that's great, and kind guys. of merge yeah. yeah these two things because christina this christina suggested a schedule layout so that we're not planning 18 events up here all at one o'clock so no, we'll, she's exactly right. so yeah. we'll We'll kind of have a little bit of both. Well, we sort of have to do this on. one first. Yeah. Yeah. We got to have something yeah. to schedule. But I, so, yeah. I thought that going back to the kind of subcommittee thing, I thought that we were the point people for every subcommittee 
like you were going to go run oh, with I am. garden tours. <laughs> yes. If you need to recruit outside help, then that's fine. But I didn't think we were going to. And that's fine. Yeah, bring I in just, anybody else that they would kind of give you the information and then you bring it back to that, these meetings. Is that 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 works for me as well? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said I feel like council can help. Yeah. This board can help. I think you know. Again, I think we can reach out to planning board see if they want to get involved with like you know being a tour. I mean, you know, they don't. We can we can get a template together and then yeah. it'll make sense make more sense. Okay. And what I was talking about was having a schedule for the actual event the yeah. Day. Yeah. Uh, because I, I I have one of those for the Heritage Festival because and it all happens on one campus but we still have lots of different things going on simultaneously yeah. and that way we don't end up with all the really cool stuff happening all at the same time and you know then nobody knows where to go or whatever well, and, and since and, we're going to be and a different also area. Might help to have something like that as you're trying to get people's interest in it where they see kind of this is kind of the rough thing oh, sure. what we want this day to look like yeah. and the sooner we kind of have that yeah. the more real it looks to people and the yeah. more engaged they'll they'll get well it. and and see i use that just so that i can keep up with things and as i get items that are scheduled i just pop them in that spreadsheet and so at the beginning of the year whenever we start planning that thing um there's very little in it. Like, I know I've got this band right here, and I know I've got these people to do this over here, and it looks kind of like there's not much going on. And then you just keep filling it in. Yeah. yeah. And you've got blocks for things. I color code it based on whether it's a done deal or not, right? Yeah. It's, you know, so I might want people to do this right here, but, you know, i got to go find them to do it kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. It just helps to think it through. All right, so, John, you're going to keep following up with the school. I'll keep following up with the school. I, 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 Hopefully between now and our next meeting Tuesday, they get back yeah. in touch with me and say, yeah, that date looks workable or no, we just can't do it. Then, okay. you know. And you get this, this amenity <laughs> for that date, right? Correct. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. that seems to be the linchpin. Once we've got that, yeah. then we can. Yeah. I mean, I think, we, I think we try to stick with that date. Yeah. But, you know, if they can't, you know, if they can't make it work and they said the week before we could totally do, then we can, you know. Yeah. But otherwise, I think we just stick with that date and we just look at alternatives. Yeah, I agree. Because that, that's a big um, that's location. That's kind of the culmination yeah. Yeah, of the end is. of the day, you yeah. know, because well, that too. they might have the car show there during the day, but I don't know what other events we could be doing there that we could yep. get the barn or these yep. other places. Right. Yep. Right. So, yeah, it would be more... You know, I'm guessing maybe from 6 p.m. on that we would yeah. really need it. So that might even give them the day to do their sports stuff yeah. and, and things like that. Well, right. yeah, there's that. That's a good point. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, if you're, well, it just depends on what you're doing there. If you're, if you want a band to start at 6, then they're going to be there way earlier Understood. than that, trust yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Right. Well, we'll just wait and see what they come back with. Then yeah. make a decision. Yeah. Okay, what else is on? What else? What else do you have? Um, I mean, you're following up, John. That that was just, that was me. just you. those were the ones. Okay. Sp specific for okay. Marketing Day. Yeah. Um, I have emailed the Raptor Center guy again because um, I hadn't heard back from him, so I emailed him again. So hopefully I'll get, you know, he'll get back to me. Firethorn is still on board. We're good there. Those were my two. Those were my two big things. But we were supposed to um, try to come up with the name. Yeah. Did anybody come up with anything? I still just like basic Marvin Community I, Day. I do too. I, I, I don't see a problem with that I, either. I, 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 I even just like Marvin Day. Marvin Day. I don't I like Marvin Day, but I, I mean, I'm just like I, I mean, I kept summer. going over and over and I was like, I really just like Marvin Day. Like it's just. I mean, and I do have some logos to look at if somebody okay, wants to see those. Um. Yes, we do. Yeah. Um. But I just, I just like Marvin Day. It's. You know, with you. Well, why don't we keep it like that? And if something pops up between in a couple over the yeah. next couple of months, okay. we you I'll know. Like it. Okay. Yeah. I just I'm I think fine. Marvin Day is just it's yeah okay. So that was one thing. Um, sponsorships. Who's working on sponsorships? Is that you, Christina? Were you bringing like a tier thing? Oh, I was going to share with you guys what we do. Yeah. I mean, we just have a, and, and Jamie is absolutely right. It, it needs to be much higher level. We, we have a thousand five hundred two fifty, okay. right? Which we even we need to up. Uh, he was talking about five thousand 
and probably twenty five hundred and a thousand. Okay. Because there's you know at some point it's not worth having a conversation. I know. And Bob's already offered ten, so you know. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to feel like he was living big, you know. Yeah. So let's live big. Nice. Isn't it nice? Um, yeah. Okay. And, and, and those levels are you're just talking about a couple of key tier sponsors? I don't know that you would turn down seven people who showed up with five grand, right? I mean, I mean, <laughs> well, because he mentioned, uh, Jamie mentioned uh, just having two of, at the top tier, and I'm like, you know, if the third one showed up, would you say no? I mean, you know, I, so I'm, you know. But, but I think that that is going to be something that's imperative, mm -hmm. that we put together some sort of structure, and yeah. Derek, I even think we could probably pull from, like, the disc golf structure mm -hmm. and just kind of yeah rework it a little bit well the you gotta think I about think what you're when you're think. asking for that 10 mm -hmm. grand or that seven it they want to kind of know that how many are there going to be yeah Absolutely. and that and and that yeah. may be so the reason to keep it yeah, yeah. The, we've never had that problem at the heritage festival um but um I also think you need to think about what are you going to give them for that, oh, yeah, right? Absolutely. They're so, going to have a giant, like their name is going to be on banners, it's going to be on the t-shirt, it's going but, to be in all the promotional material that we have for that day, right? I mean, so, I something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, why don't you do whatever your top tier sponsors are and, and have that sponsor, like the stage sponsor, or what a, like if the car show sponsor, kind yes. of, would break up what each event you're doing. Your top tier, so if it's public, like Publix decides to sponsor, it's like the Publix car show or presented by Publix. Mm. That's a really good and idea. Yeah, then, idea. Then, then, yeah, you kind of just block, like, obviously, people will get more the money. lower tiers. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and kind of put those yeah, in the Yeah, I love that. Right. That's great. So, we, we offer different things. The Heritage Festival offers different things to different level tiers, obviously. But the one thing that the top three are on the t-shirt because you know you got this stuff at the bottom that yeah. you know it's just like a, a ton of names and so but they they get their logo on the t-shirt and if you've got banners or something that you could have banners at each location that's got all of the big yeah. sponsors but but hunter's idea like about that. uh sponsoring different and event, areas and yeah the 5k or the fun run yeah you mm -hmm. know presented by or sponsored by, by atrium or Novant. Yeah. oh let's go with so maybe as we kind of maybe at our next meeting even as we continue to figure out what events the car show yep. an equestrian thing then we start to set up that sponsorship structure yeah. of kind of the general event sponsors yeah and then sponsors that are tied to the car show yeah the equestrian but I, but I would look at Derek what you did for the disc golf and just kind of I mean you can all again we don't have to reinvent the wheel and Christina if you have like a sponsor yeah, list yeah it's just not gonna it's not gonna convey very well but yeah but I can I mean, certainly see it yeah, yeah, yeah. look at it yeah. yeah like you know again we don't need to reinvent the wheel of other people's done because we give away um and it's something to think about for the 5k if you are a, a certain level sponsor you get in the run for free because the run costs you the 20 25 bucks or yeah. whatever to get in so you get a certain number of people that get to run for free and they get a t-shirt and all that kind of stuff okay. so let me let me play devil's advocate here are we complicating it by putting sponsors on each event to where I'm in charge of the 5K, like I've got to go get my own sponsor? Or is it simpler to say it's a Marvin Day sponsor, we've got a gold level, a silver level, and a bronze level, and then like Christina said, you're not going to turn down. You're, you're seeking one gold title sponsor, three silver levels and then you can delegate and then and then they get to choose out of the events or something like well, that well i think we go ahead and say like you know we have a specific meeting that says sponsorship this is exactly what it's going to be because then you start getting into well such and such gave 500 dollars, and their name was all over a beautiful 5k t-shirt and 150 people have you know, have a t-shirt with my business name on it, but you, I gave 10, I, yeah, I gave a thousand to this car show and yeah. all I got was, yeah, a banner that 12 people showed up to the car show. So I don't know. I was when gonna you say, go, just playing a few questions. Sure. When, when we go to get a sponsorship, at least when people called on me and wanted me to donate money at Pepsi, they would give me a list of things I would get in return. Exactly, and that's if, what I'm if saying. If it was a gold sponsorship, they would have everything laid out in terms of expectations. 
So I could have my team run numbers in terms of cost per thousand deliveries mm -hmm. to see if it was a good investment for us or not. And so that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what you need to do. Yeah. Because this is what you're going to ask me for two thousand dollars. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to see what I want to get for my two thousand dollars other than goodwill. Yeah. yeah. And so I think we need to establish within whatever we call these stages. Are you goodwill? Well, it's not the re that might be the reason Bob donates. But it's not the reason Pepsi donates. No, no. <laughs> so, so I, I just think that needs to be established and very, very clear as to what I'm going to get for gold. So maybe like a gold entitles you to, to sponsor one of these events or something or, like that. But I, but I would still... Oh, to his point, I mean, yeah. you can, I think you can do both things. It wouldn't things. be the individual people oh, right. getting the sponsors. I think we still need to have one core person. But I think his concern was more, does the person running the oh, I know. run have to go get a sponsor? Does the equestrian? And I'm saying, no, I don't think we want to do that. <laughs> you know, I think we want to have one group of sponsors, yes. but within that sponsorship, as he's talking about laying out what you get for that, maybe the gold tiers do get to, you know, the, the opportunity to sponsor one of the yeah, they let signature them pick events. If they want to, like yep. that. yeah. Maybe let them pick. Yeah. Like if you, you know, if you're... You get in first, you get yeah, to pick you get of to what pick ones which, you want, yeah. you know. The These thing are the is, ones you, we have available, right? You know, because you might get a gold sponsor two months before the event, and yeah. you, you might get your first one tomorrow, and you might get the next one in February, and then it's different. So. Well, I, I think we need like to say that this meeting we are going to hammer out sponsorship. I say you know, by the we, September work session because that'll be our next work session, right? Y'all's are this PR and G's next work session. I believe it's because we well, it's every the, other month. The Marvin well, Day. Well, we, have, Marvin we, Day yeah. we we have September a work 7. session for Marvin Day at every regular meeting too. Though. Yeah, no, but I mean like just just yeah, the work session. That would be September seventh. Um, yeah, why don't I have this? I'll send it in some of these. You want? Um, possibly. Oh, Tuesday, September seventh. Yeah, no, he's no. out for all of September. No, no, our, our yeah, work, no, our work session for our work session for September should be the twenty eighth. Like just oh, Marvin Day work session. Just Marvin yeah, right. Day. Yeah. Just yeah. Marvin Day. Just just good, Marvin Day. good. So, so then the by the session, the twenty eighth. It should be the twenty eighth. So we'll have the two end. regular meetings by that time. Yes. So it's, it's right. we have and every then other, we should be ready for the sponsorship to. And then on the 28th of September, of September we need to plan to flesh out the sponsorship, Tell but we need to have right a out. good yeah. idea. And, Absolutely. And, and, and we should have the date totally locked Absolutely. up by then. Can we make uh, sure we Jamie's here for that one? Yeah. yeah. On yeah. Let's, um, can you make a note to invite Jamie to Because he thinks a little bigger than I do, and that's good. So yeah. September 28th. 28th, yeah. And that'll be I'm used to lowballing everything, and it just doesn't get you much. Target Christina, does that need to go to council for like a final Christina, approval? The sponsorship? Yeah. So. I'm right here. Oh, I mean, they'll have to appropriate the money that y'all raise back into that budget. So, I mean, it'll, in effect, go to them at some point. Well, and, and, and where does that money go to? It just goes general. to general fund first, and then it has yeah. to be allocated. Okay. Yeah. Um, but speaking of sponsorships, I have somebody that wants to sponsor. So, yeah. something. Okay. It doesn't, and it was like, Sure, I don't know what it is, but I'm in. Like, great. <laughs> More detail. Well, interestingly, um, the the Heritage Festival gets lots of like chiropractors and dentists and or did all kinds of things like that. Um, so we. I mean, I feel like we could drive by the high school and look at all the banners up and call yeah. all those people and be absolutely. like, "Hey, you want to be a sponsor for Marvin Day?" Yep. I mean, yeah. seriously. Yep, yep. Absolutely. No, no, absolutely. Um, yep. So, okay. So by the 28th, let's have, let's come yeah. with, come with like any sponsor, like stuff that we've seen. Could we send that into Austin and then he distributes it out to yes. us so we all have it beforehand and we yes. can look at it? Cause that's what, and, cause I would love to see the so one for the before. disc yeah, golf yeah, yeah. and any other ones that we can, I mean, there's other places we can oh, pull yeah. stuff from other big events. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then did we talk about 
when we initially started talking about sponsorships, the, did that also include like them having a space in the barn or something like that? Or what do you mean? Um, if they're sponsoring yeah, yeah. an event, would they be able to keep a table at the barn or something? We do that oh, uh, I absolutely. Mean, I think that. Yeah, we should. Okay. Depends on how much like, money. Should that be kind of a baseline for bronze level sponsors and up the opportunity to have a table? I Isn't think that so. What the September twenty eighth meeting is. To well, iron out? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. But you'll see, but, like with the the Heritage Festival, where we give so. them uh, free run. They have a certain number of runners they can enter for free. Uh, they have a booth if they want one. A lot of them don't do it, but yeah. they have they have a presence. They yeah. can set up somewhere. And they get T-shirts, and I can't remember, and and we and we we promote them in our advertising, the, so, the bigger sponsors. So bring the heritage festival and, thing, even yes. though it may not. We may just change the numbers around, and yeah, yeah, yeah no, but you'll but bring that. that and or send that to Austin. I will. So if anybody has anything, send it to Austin and have him send that out in like the agenda packet so mm -hmm. that we can prep yep. for it. That's what I'm saying. And then and then we'll iron it out at that meeting. And I'm gonna look for some other ones too, some of okay. other big events yeah. that. Just to give us some idea of what people give to each other <laughs> for okay. for cash. That's good. All right, so we've got the name, sponsorship. I updated you on my stuff. John updated you. All right, Bob, what do you got? I have nothing other than the fact that we will have a car tour and, yeah. <laughs> and Bob and Judy will be in. So I know it will be successful. So, so we'll people have, grow it from there. Yeah, so we, I like it. So, uh, like so, take one? Take one stack. So yeah. I'll be getting up with everybody in terms of. I messed them up pretty good. Trying to find out some other people that have gardens. Pretty gardens? Oh, that's and I think Derek said he may participate. Yeah, Derek's going to do his vegetable garden. I can't. I can't be one of the I'm going to do another page too. Well, I would um, say. I would say obviously. Do that one that's on your, <laughs> right there. That one. Give me that one. Yes, ma'am. Give me that one. Thank you, sir. I would also say that um, the the park. Thank you very much to the high school volunteers yes. that are kicking butt every day out there. Um, the park, the cottage garden will look great in May, It'll be beautiful. and the community garden, the vegetables. I gotta admit, this year it looks it pretty good. Mine is the worst looking one out there. <laughs> I'm really proud to say that. Um, but by in May, most people have planted things. It will look, it'll be new, but it'll look really right. nice. So those are two more places yeah, to go. Seriously, I'm gonna send out an email to everybody. Um, so asking if you know someone with a beautiful, you know. Beautiful yard. How beautiful does it have to be? It's got to be beautiful. Well, it's got to be nice, you know. Yeah. It's going to be a two. You're, you're not coming to my house. So, so I'd like to have at least two or three locations. Yeah. That's what we had last time. Had a great turnout. So, yeah, forty some people come to our yard. I thought it was great. I just passed out some stuff. I was talking to Captain Vandenberg about um, home and garden tours that I've seen done in other municipalities. This is just an idea if you guys want to pitch the idea in your head at the September yeah. meeting. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, a lot of these municipalities will have like a, a cause. Uh, we're going to sell tickets for garden tours to, uh, I don't know, construct a, something that Derek wants, a <laughs> stage. Um, something that Derek wants. <laughs> it's, always me. it's all about Derek. And what they'll do is they, I mean, people want to show off their stuff. They spend a lot of time in their gardens or their house, however you want to, however you want to approach it. But, um, have like you know give them a little welcoming package with a bottle of wine some tea or something that they can have laid out for the people that come through garden gloves seeds oh yeah, i can get some really cute. nice gloves and i can give you a beauty berry from the the park so um I have 300 of them <laughs> inside of this information that i just passed out there's some information about what other places are doing hillsboro for instance has artists that are out and they display their artwork at the gardens mm -hmm. some of them even have actual artists doing like landscape cool. pictures oh plein air that's yeah. awesome they're actually painting yeah. in the garden so just some ideas if y'all want to think about get on it selling tickets for that um it obviously beef up this section of the event a little substantially but you could put that money into something and people yeah. more than likely pay for those tickets what was that plein air thing we have a lady who does that at the park Painting. Painting, yeah. No, I don't know. 
Are just having like for that? instance they could have Maybe. she could come to Bob's house and actually paint oh, while cool. the garden tour is going on I and mean, that and, and that could buy stuff from yeah. her. Somebody ought to be doing that in Marvin Park's cottage garden every day. I mean it is it, it it's ready to be painted pretty much all the time. <laughs> Where's the cottage garden? The very front. Is, is it at the Get it. Don't even. Get it. Don't so, even. but hey, did anybody notice there's a sponsorship section here that you can yeah. click on it? There's levels of sponsorship. That might be a great spot to get a pull to from it. Out. It's on the back of the front page. Ah, oh, right back. I didn't even notice. Yes, so perfect. We should, click, we should pull this up and click on that and see what the levels of yeah. their sponsorship stuff looks like. Yep. See, don't have to land up the wheel. I like the holiday tour too. Yeah, that's that's we got some nice. good houses in yeah. Marvin. That's actually a big fundraiser in Albemarle. Like they yeah. they raise a lot of money. Albemarle, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. My family's been there. They have some really pretty houses because they didn't tear them down because they didn't have enough money to do that. <laughs> I know that's not that's not. But I like that idea too. But yeah. I love this idea and I love the painting idea. <coughs> I, I really like painters? adding that to it. Do we yeah. have painters? Well, uh, I know uh, they used to do. Uh, it wasn't just painters, but. Uh, the lady that owns Shea Rose also does pottery. Well, I so definitely want to get the pottery, pottery involved, thing. I know we've got and potters. Oh, God, I know that. that they've had their own kind of pottery tours before. Yeah, they they put out the signs, and there's four or five places in Marvin. Yeah, there's two down here to because I've been. I so, got, I got, I, I well, that's on my list. I you could have a painter that. at Bob's house and then a potter at somebody else's house, and they could. And what, what about people who build garden? Things like um, like out of like metal there. sculptures. Like Tom Rizzer, my yeah. neighbor. Yeah, yeah. he's I the one think. that does them all for everywhere. Wow. He, he all the wax all things yeah. like that railroad sculpture. Yeah. He did that. Um, yeah. he, he, if you go by his house at the front of my neighborhood, you go down the dirt road. You can see all sort of. I mean, he does it for Matthews. Um, he did in Matthews Center. There's a bunch of art that he's done. What's his last name? All those bench, Tom Rizzer. R I Z. Our, yeah, he, for with his own money, he's the one that built the skateboard park in Waxhaw. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, let's get him involved somehow. Yeah. Talk to him. He, he's involved in another project, but I think he loaned us um, sculptures for one of our. He brought a sculpture out to uh, Marvin uh, Eford Park grand opening or something oh, cool. he, he brought a big sculpture out and put it See, out stuff like that i mean that would be that would be really yeah. yeah if he's willing to do things like that's a lot of work but that sounds great yeah but it, it, his would be more like you we normally have our neighborhood picnic at his house every year <clears throat> and it's much less of a garden and it's more of a sculpture garden. Awesome. Like, he would probably be a part of the garden yeah, tour so but cool. it's a very oh, unique thing yeah. No, that okay. would be. It's not that. like something you've ever seen That's before. Cool. That would be very cool. I love that idea. You, you've also probably seen them around the tractor seat men. The oh, what? Wow. Like if you've seen, like there's there's like men. Um, Shea Rose has a couple of them. It's made out of tractor seat because what he does is he builds everything from scrap metal and stuff like that. <laughs> And he has all of these tractor seat men, and their bodies are made of like a tractor seat. And uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta look at that. Okay. Okay. Is some of, are some of these like They're what is over. across the street from? Is it the chimneys that's over there? The, and across the street, yes. there's a garden. Yes. And, yes. Okay. That's okay. Shea Rose. That's, that's what the I'm equestrian talking. vaulting. But okay. He also does the pottery. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, those are the okay. tractor seat men. Cool. Why cool. Why do we redefine this and just call it a garden? art tour yes and then just yeah. have several Would more locations pot? where somebody goes to the pottery they don't have to come out to a garden correct oh, i love it up. okay bob and, you're so good yeah good. and then you go to and i'll get up with you on the metal guy yeah and if you'll open a sign we can just do you know maybe only be two flower gardens but it'll be an art tour as well yeah, yeah. people can see sculptures art but and if and we have a person locations. if we have a person who wants to paint mm -hmm. in the garden or at your house or whatever they're then they, they can do all, that they yeah. all know each other yeah, yeah. so they but, may but, so but but have pottery i don't know if it's on the list but i know we have pottery somewhere but so we could include the pottery okay that's and the cool. metal work 
A lot. Yeah. Of, uh, that's a great idea. There's apparently a guy. Who's for, I'm sorry. Who's in charge of this? Bob. Bob. Yeah. Bob's in charge of that. Is that on your garden tour? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do garden expanded. slash art tour. Okay. Yeah. But apparently there's a guy like on the curve. There's that that's gravel Tom road. Rizzo. That's Tom. No, no, down here. Keep going. Oh, okay. Keep going this way. And he does furniture. He does hmm. apparently when. Publix, um, they cleared Publix. He got a bunch of the wood and he makes furniture. Like uh, distressed wood. Like distressed wood. Yeah. You know, there's really cool like tables, tables that's like, you know, like the trunk, like yeah. all that stuff. He apparently, he makes those. Joe's been down there. Every, Joe's been trying to get me to go down there. He might, that might be a really cool thing for like people to go down and see because it's got like we're going to ask him to do some art, like to make some like picture frames. So I think from, that's like, what wood. people, I think, like Junina, we love. Kind of stuff like that. Like that. Me too. Okay, so I'll talk to Joe about that. If you could give me his name. Yeah. And if we and can, I'll, I'll get up with you. And yeah. if we can lock in these people, and then we can, you know, just get commitments from them, yes. and then we can give them details down the road. Yeah. That, that would be a cool. lot better than just like a garden like tour. Well, it well, it appeals like to a lot more like people. This isn't yeah. just garden sport. He built an indoor skateboarding bowl arena hey, that's cool. that was done by Ronnie Holiday, and ESPN taped Tony Hawk there. No way! <laughs> it's that oh, real? Ball. That is cool. Yeah, I'll get that. I'll get his... Um, I like Joe talks to him all the yeah. time, and he's always like, let's run over there real quick, and I never have time whenever we're doing it. I'll get with Joe on that. That'd okay. be great. Yep, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, when you started talking that, I was like, ooh, there's a guy. Yeah, yeah and he's in Marvin. Okay, cool. Sorry. What else? Right. what else is on our list? Christina's got logos and t-shirts. Well, t-shirts when we need them. Yeah. Yeah. That's food, easy. food trucks, we're going to need the date, but that's probably something we're going to want to get early because yeah. those yes. guys get locked up Especially in that festivals time and all what types of things. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing with the t-shirts? You're designing okay. them or you're putting... I didn't know about t-shirts until right now. Oh, I thought you were going to bring the t-shirts. I the forgot to bring the one from the other one. Sorry about that. Yeah. I have a vendor forget. right here that can do the t-shirts. Awesome. Okay, that's and great. It already has our logo on file, but... Well, I mean, they're... No... There are tons of people that will do yeah, a t-shirt for you. That's that's the easy part. Yeah. Put what deciding what to put on it. So what we had on the front of it was the logo, the date, and everything. And then the back was all of the sponsors. And the yeah. bigger your logo, the more money you gave. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Okay. And it had a bunch of turkeys on it. So okay. I'm did sure. You, did you come up with Marv? Have so you, yeah, what do we got? You ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. I can't wait. So I want well, the shoe, I want the shoe heel muscle. What's it called? The splitter. Oh, heel splitter. No. <laughs> There's one on here. There's one on here. And, and all I'm saying is this is the first pass. That is a very contentious. <laughs> no kidding. Why is it contentious? I really don't want to suppose. Yeah, because they, they don't want to do Because there was a board of adjustment meeting I ran until like 3 in the morning. <laughs> so... That all about the hill splitter. Ago. It was. So this doesn't really look like a hill splitter. Where's Mark? Marv is down here. Yeah. There he is. No, Marv is too formal. Okay. Oh so, my God, I love the hill. He's so cute. I love that. So these are just ideas. And we're gonna I'm, take that to the beach, though. I'm just. Well, I know. And anyway, he's willing to do more work, but this took a lot of time. So you need to kind of pick an idea, and we'll go with that. I so, want cartoony. I like so, the owl. I, I like did. That was my dad's idea, actually. I, I like the cartoony guys. These are too. These I are thought, too stuffy. Yeah. These, yeah. These are too formal. But I do like the trees. But well, I like, the, I like like the animated cartoony. The thing about the trees, I, I, because that was sort of my idea because that's the thing we keep talking I about is trees, trees around here. Yeah. So I kind of like the trees because an owl could be. In a tree, so yeah. you could have a mascot as an owl, but the tree be your logo. I, I mean, again, I want th a, I want a fun horse. Is that a rendition of the new town hall? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. It's pretty. It's I, pretty. I, we can we can make a fun horse if you want to do that. I tried to make that one. Tell him I told him to make that as formal as possible because to me horses are that's all about money and formality. The, but Actually, that looks like the horse in the logo. It is exactly the horse in the logo. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's why he pulled it from there. I really like. I really it. like the. 
like, heel splitter. I knew you oh. would. So, I envisioned it to be this way more, but I guess that's what we got. So he's like, oh, what? And I sent him all these pictures of heel splitters. He's like, like, I'm not making a logo out of that. It's way too beachy. I know it is beachy yeah. though. Well, it, but it's it a, so cute. Well, and actually, that's what Neil said. He goes, "This isn't the beach," and I'm like, "These things live right here, right here." <laughs> I do like the owl. He's cute. And Mar his name could be Marv. It could be if you really could be Marv. Marv the owl. That would fit with the kids a lot better than a big old horse. I, think. I agree. Well, he's a native, yeah. right? And yeah. and most everybody who lives here has heard an owl in their backyard. That's why. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's why that. Can, owl can can they can he give us some owl options since we yeah. like the owl? Yeah. Can we do some owl and tree combined options? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the trees one too. Me too. Yeah, it is a little kind of like yeah. the ribbon, the way the ribbon is there. Oh, and you notice the date he picked. I'm like, I don't know how many times I told you it was in May, but it's whatever. Fine. It's yeah. fine. That's that's an that's easy thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but this these are good for Sam. I thought he could you like have him play with the owls. Some, yep. Maybe not so brown. Like, I mean, it doesn't have to be brown at all, right? He can be. Well, here's the blue. thing: are when you get to shirts, like a lot of these are more black and white are they going to be color because that's a huge yeah. difference problem so here's what he will do i promise because he he's built the, i mean blasted this into my head over the years he will whatever we pick he'll make sure that it works in a, a black and white version or a red and white or whatever yeah. okay. a two color version okay. yeah. because that inevitably yeah okay. inevitably it will not work um it won't be a good logo okay. if it doesn't do that um just type in um Come see me, Rock Hill. Come see me, Rock Hill. Where at? I do, I do, I do like the hill flutter. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. And then just, I think, click on images. <laughs> so this is, this is Glenn the Frog. Glenn? Yeah. Like G-L-E-N. Glenn, wow. He well, there's is. there's a fancy gardens downtown oh that's right that's Glenwood right Park. it is very yeah. very nice Glenwood, uh, okay that makes sense Glencare Glencare. Glencare. So you have, it's beautiful so you have the same mascot right the actual in-person mascot mm -hmm. um, but every year the poster looks different yeah you know? um, yeah sure it's, it's an actual competition uh, with the local businesses I think who uh, who design the um, and that's the, the, the poster, the right? poster. Yeah, I think it's good. But Glenn has to be on the poster. Yeah. So, <clears throat> well, I, I like that. I like we, the colors. Yeah. So you get the cartoon character, and you have your, you know, your actual mascot that can be at the yeah. festival. So we could dress up old Marv the Owl and make him a character. Oh, that's, yeah, well, that's why I thought the Owl works no, pretty nice. We no longer story. have Rogi to be the Tell Elf, dead, so... so. Yeah. That I, he, he's like, that was not on my job description. <laughs> yeah, that was not on the job description. Wait a minute. That's how they get you. That's what they say. The other duty design. The other duty design, right. Yeah, and you right. thought it was just picking up heavy bags of something. <laughs> oh, no. You don't no. have to wear the elf outfit. Oh, God. <laughs> and there are pictures. The right direction. I mean, it's a real thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Hunter. <laughs> well, tell me right. thank you for doing Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. He's good at this sort of thing, but he's like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> I've done enough. Uh, well, he did the church one. I'm like, this <gasps> isn't a church. Oh, he's cute. What? That's <coughs> yeah, he's cute. I like yeah. him. Well, so their idea so is we can do that with the owl, every yeah. year the they have a competition on building the new poster for that year. This is what Derek was just telling us. But they have to have the frog in it, which is cool. So if you pick something like that. Like the hour tree or whatever, it has to have that in it. But oh, that's you, cute. Like, you can get a cute. Um, I really I like that colors. idea. Instead of changing the logo every year, you kind of change the where the frog is, the, what, or the, the look, owl, what he's the look. doing. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Derek also said that the local businesses design the thing as a competition. Yeah, I yeah. like that. You mean all of our local businesses that we have in? Yeah. Things. Yeah. But you could... So it's going to be Publix, Marcos, the Nail Place, and... But you could also open well, it up to school up art art students. I school. know. We're, we're still working on the, the kids. The letter. The letter, John. Yeah. I, I, didn't send, I didn't send you one, did I? Did I ever send you one? <laughs> no, you were supposed to. I keep saying I'm going to do it. No, no, no. 
art. We're, I can tell you this, that I don't mean to depress you, but boy, we get nothing when we send that thing out. So yeah. I don't know that um, it's, oh. you know. To the school? Yeah, they just, I don't I know, know if they're overwhelmed. I know the art know. teacher, so I'll, once we get the that letter, would I'll send it to her. And I'm hopefully going to be back in the school this year at the elementary school, at least at Marvin. Yeah. And I can be like, listen, <laughs> this is a great project for you. All right. So logos, I, th I think uh, who's, we've got some good things to okay. work from. Who's point person? Christina. 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 Don't you love how I just... Christina's on it. She's right on top of that rose. What movie is that from? Anybody? Rose. Anybody? Uh, right on top of that rose. Don't know that one. Thelma Louise. <laughs> that was Louise. He just opened somebody to jump off a cliff. <laughs> Who's Rose? Who? That's fair. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. All right. All right. My turn yet? Yep. Yeah. Oh, and I've also got uh, nature walks in the park. So, um, do you yeah. have people to guide those nature walks? I will. Okay. Are you doing the park or are you doing around town? Or both? You know, if I get enough people interested, I would plop them wherever there's a a decent okay. trail to they go on have, trails do you have any latest updates no just that we're going to do it okay and, and and it's going to be awesome i'm kind of like bob it's going to happen and it's going to be awesome. it's going to be great no i've got a few people um master naturalist types that they could do a guided tour and say that's the, this kind of plant and that's mm -hmm. that kind of bird and there's you know whatever whatever and so, may it'll be perfect so we're talking that. like if not just at the park but like if somebody wanted to go from here to here you could walk that trail yeah. and say this is what and then the Tulsa Tulsa Tulsa. trail okay Are and so if i've if i've got um a, a few people that can do that yeah. you know throughout the course of the day then you all spread them out okay, if it's cool. just me then it's going to be one place okay cool. <laughs> It's gonna be great though. Yeah, and, and it'll be a really good time of year to see some interesting things. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, but there's always something out there. As long as there's no snakes. Well, I can't right. promise that. I like the snakes. Oh, so I gotta tell this story on the the kids, oh. well, not kid, the, the guys that have been helping at the park. Um, one of them, I mean, he's gotta be 16 years old or so, right? He's a high school kid, frogs, little tiny frogs make him jump and scream like a little girl and and so the rest of the guys are just laughing at me and he, he's seen a frog there's a frog again like, oh my god i said what are you gonna do when the snakes show up man? and i'm over there getting the little frog and moving the little frog and oh my that's goodness. funny he is hilarious I'm okay with frogs it's the snakes yeah well snakes. so i do have something to add to because i asked some of those guys that are and there are a couple girls that are helping uh, out there. And they thought that a cornhole tournament would be cool. They wanted, they wanted, yeah. they wanted to compete about things. And like this, you know, and they would, they would have like a, what do you call it? Um, uh, like a bracket system. Yes, bracket system. Yeah, that was an idea. I ate that. Yeah, yeah, that was an idea. And I thought, you know, and this is. No, we get now we've idea. got one. Exactly. Cornhole. We've got one cornhole official court, but you're talking about brackets, you're talking about bunch going on at the same time, you're going to need 10 cornhole sets. Okay. That's okay. You wouldn't necessarily need 10, but sure. you know. Yeah. Can we stick them to the right when you drive in? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, there's a... Take one of those fields, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really sure what's in the park, so... Is no, it's like a, a... There's, there's, a, there's a, an there's empty kind spot. Of a field uh, on the park. Empty yeah. spot over there. That would be plenty big enough. <laughs> um, you could also have the cornhole things sponsored. Right? Yeah. I mean, they could have logos and stuff on them. So we can make it all NASCAR if you want to. Oh, you could also have a disc golf yep. tournament. Yep. Yeah. And see, these guys it's... didn't know about that. So I was telling them that that was coming right. and they were all over that. They thought that was a cool idea, too. We were too. talking about the um, <coughs> artist people earlier. Does anybody know anybody that makes cornhole boards in the area? They're really not that far, but I was wondering because then they, they could donate. I'm of course. Maybe Oh, Marvin's logo. Logo, the yeah. festival logo. The festival, yeah. You do a tournament, whoever wins can win those. I mean, I had know, my, my there. yeah, we had ours done. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good so idea. We had ours done from a guy in Charlotte. But I bet yeah. there's somebody. You can also, which not this would be. Manage that term. Do you make them? They're not, I mean, I don't make like, I don't do all the fancy decals, you know. I mean, just the it's wood. Not, yeah, it's not that hard. The wood construction's pretty simple. Oh, so it's a good Eagle Scout project it, to have done by Nick. It's amazing how popular, you know, the Bruce Tavern that you were just at. They have a cornhole tournament over there, mm -hmm. and they got guys 35 and 40 years old, and they come as teams. 
Oh, yeah. They this take, is not just a 15 year old thing. They take stuff serious. I don't like it. And, they, and they'll play, you know, for beer and all this other stuff. I know, but we could have an entry fee and then there could be a nominal prize at the end and uh -huh. then you get some more money for the park. It'll Speaking of be prizes. An Olympic event. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, God, that's sad. I don't hate that idea. Speaking of prizes, just keep in your mind that was another thing, and I forgot about this, that we ask for, like, sort of like sponsorships. You need a prize for the, the right. 5K, okay. for things like that. And so people give certificates for uh like in monroe southern range brewery gave us a hundred dollars last year so one of the guys who yeah. won the yeah. 5k got a hundred dollar gift certificate to a brewery i mean so let's let's lump well, that <coughs> into our sponsor sponsor it definitely yeah. yeah and call it like and, and gifts yeah whatever you call you it that to our prizes prizes gifts uh, as part prize of donation or the the other thing that one of the other kids said was and he's in band that the the band could come there and there are different levels of band they have a jazz band they have crap i can't remember what the other one is and then they have the marching band and they have versions of that and you know we're at the park at the time and so we're like so what are you going to just march up and down the, the road here and he's sure. like sure and well, no, that, now that, he's that, not in charge, but be, yeah, he, he that, said that, it would be cool. I mean, it could be fun, like during the day. Like, yeah, people are just you know just making a big racket. <laughs> Derek's like, yeah. oh, we're getting out of hand now. I mean, we kind of are. I mean, all all the ideas are great. We just have to think, kind of think like what can and we just yeah. yeah, well, what yeah. can we execute well, and then yeah. and then put these on maybe the back burner for next year. Yeah, yeah. Like but I think Bob, Bob said last time he's like, let's yeah. let's focus on doing. A few things really well, really well yeah and then we can expand the thing i see with like I mean, we're even going to get into it with 5k um when you start talking about cornhole tournaments or um you're just gonna you're gonna bring in a lot of outsiders yeah, yeah family yeah. versus the competitive yeah that are piece. only there for for the money and the competition and is that your target audience no. Right. Like, do I'm not sure the money's going to be that good. <laughs> <laughs> we can, we yeah. can make sure that it's All not. All right, I'm going to stop talking if I keep getting interrupted. Excuse and me. And I'm going to end the, the meeting. All right, there's no formality here, and it's getting kind of annoying. I understand that it's a work session and we can just talk, but just. Yes, I don't think it's our, I don't think it's our target audience. Yeah. And if the, if that's not who it is, or or if it is, that's fine. But let's just I want to iron that out so that it, we it's can not. hone in on the events and it's make not that, it's a like, it's a community event. Like we're not right. we want to include you know surrounding neighborhoods, but not bringing in people that are like competitive people, like Bob's talking about that he saw at the the brewery. Yeah. Go, Go ahead. No, my, my only question is, are we going to do a 5K? Or is that on the Fun table? run. Yeah, well, whatever. Okay. It's going to be a family. I mean, the way I invent, maybe I'm crazy. I just thought the 5K was a family event. Yeah. It's not competitors coming in to run a 5K. It's more of a walk-a-thon. And, and well, I think so. I think at the last meeting, yeah, there was we were, discussion, we were discussing of, that of at the both. Last meeting. Um, um, okay. And... I believe there was support for it either way. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I love the idea personally. I, I feel like if we're, I feel the conversation I think went, if we're calling it a 5K, then you're going to get people that want to run a 5K. But if we're calling it like a fun run, Marvin Trail run, then you're going to get more like Marvin people, people with strollers and walkers and not just like runners. Well, right? Is that not how that went? You weren't here. Yeah, that's that. That's how we discussed it, and I don't think we settled on it we one didn't. way or, or the other. We did. You know, but that's something that we will have to to kind of figure out. What's initially it was put out there as a like a trail run. Yep. We're going to start yeah. at the school, take people down the loop, take them over to Tullamore, <coughs> and, then, and then it shifted to a five k. Um, and I'm, I did some research on the 5K. I have that to present, but I need to know, you know, which way we want to go. If we do a 5K, do we want to limit it to Marvin residents as the registrants? 
And we've got 7,000 people in Marvin, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, not going to run. The Vandenberg house will not be running. <laughs> so there's there's three. So we got 6,000. No. Um, I mean, maybe. I mean, like, like you said, we started it kind of as a trail run, and then it was... Well, maybe we can make it into a 5K because that's what, like three miles. Three point one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think you, you and Dan, were going to do some 5K research mm -hmm. and figure out if it's doable and if it's really not doable. Then I think we just do a fun, you know, fun run trail, a trail fun run. I don't know. Well, let me continue with the research and and bring back two more, some more formal options. I've got, here's what I've got. So I, I reached out to an online company that's called Race Entry. They provide all the online platform for everything you need to set up a race. Yeah, everything. they do They do the registrations, um, they map out the course, you can use them for promotion. Uh, they don't charge anything, they just, they make their money on the registration fees. So they say the average is twenty-five dollars, um, and then they may, they actually make their money on the the little the processing fee. Um, so we they said we could do it with as little as fifty people, hundred hundred and fifty. Um, probably right. need to count the spots at the elementary school and see what you know parking would be. But they can we can promote T-shirts through that, or you can click on T-shirt sizes. There's a big admin. Uh, platform on that website for us to help to help us management they're there for support and then they're they're just making their money on the um, on the registration fee so I was going to go over this with Dan um, talk to Waxall on Indian Trail and see who they use for their 5k's didn't we talk um, about capping it well we'd have to yeah okay yeah mm -hmm. well instead of running why can't we do a walk we can do both. We to reposition it to where it's not a competition, mm -hmm. it's a walk, and we walk for a cause. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I got an idea. Mm -hmm. But, you know, walk, walk for your life would be the thing, and then a care of wildlife. So people register, mm -hmm. it ties into the owl, it ties into the positioning of wildlife, it ties into marsh, it ties into what we're all about. We make it a family event. You register five, for five or ten dollars, and you walk this event, and the money goes to whatever we choose to donate it to, and make it a, more of a walk than a run. Then you don't have to worry about timing it, because at, at, at least for the Heritage Festival 5K, yeah. the timing uh, cost is the most expensive cost of anything we do. It's close to five hundred dollars, so that you can make sure that everybody that started the run ends the run, and you've got their time. Yeah, I mean, it's I like, crazy. I like it. Just, I don't. I necessarily want like a competition I thought we kind of started the, the conversation about it so that people could see some of the loop they could see some of the trails they yeah, could exactly see some right. of the connectivity right. so I like the walk idea better than like and if somebody shoot if somebody wants to go and run it knock they yourself out knock yourself it's really out. fast walking sure it would be a lot easier logistically planning it well, then, yeah, yeah. I, 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 but, I, but I, don't know. <coughs> I see a lot of people participating in a walk. Mm -hmm. But if it's a run, Derek, I think people are going. Some people feel intimidated. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm 73. I'm not going to run five, mm -hmm. but I can easily walk it, and I'll participate. And so, so will Judy. That's a really good idea. Yeah, so I, I think, I think if you just make it a family fun people, run, you know, and family make, fun run slash walk. Yeah, where, you know. Five dollars to entry, which goes yeah. to pay for a t-shirt. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And everybody who registers gets a t-shirt, and there's yeah. no medals at the end. Yeah. And there's, and you can even if you do want to give something away, you can do a random drawing of everybody that that participated and give some stuff away I if you want to. We need to give stuff away. I, think I don't we, either. I think people are going to be happy to donate money to a cause, and we pick yeah. a cause and. Minimum donation of ten dollars gets you a free T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, and the T-shirt promotes and Marvin Day, so it becomes a and um, yeah. circular. Your um, <clears throat> can you still use the online registration? Because we're still going to need to register people, don't you think? You can. Oh, there's all kinds of formats to do that. But that one, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a competitive. And the walk 
calls could tie in with the the health fair expo. Yes. Does that work? Yeah. 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 I like I like that better than trying to do something competitive because this is supposed to be a fun day. That's mm -hmm. and I, I understand people like competition. I do too, but um, I, I think Bob's right. I think it's going to get more people I to come you, out. I and think walk. you could target the exposure of the trails more me too if people are walking yep. you know because then you know you're not focused on i gotta make this time and yeah win this race yeah. yeah so that will be easier then for you derek to oh yeah i okay. mean ball this up and throw it away well no, <laughs> no, just keep, keep it, it yeah. put it in a file yeah. and, and it may be something that it changes over the, you know yeah, exactly. we're talking about baseline year one Correct. You know. Because again, hopefully we're gonna have some more trails. Yeah. And we're gonna, have, you know, so we'll be able to. Because the more. idea of a 5K trail run is a little unusual in a good way. But there's a lot of people that are interested in running a 5K on a trail, and that's why we get any attention we do yeah. in Monroe. Yeah. Um, because there are not very many of those. No. But but I think this is much better, and I, you know, I like your idea about run a walk for wildlife. Yeah, I think and, it's good. And I don't understand if we are we going to raise money with this if we if we make a profit <clears throat> on it after we pay for t-shirts are we going to yeah give that to somebody and you yeah. said to the health fair I don't understand what that means. No, just like leak it into the health fair like this is something healthy you're going to get out and you're going to walk you know yeah. you can go to the blood drive when you're finished you can you know <laughs> talk to who whatever I mean it's a walk now yeah it's a walk now yeah, yeah. walk through your life but, and but, put the carrot in their wallet. No, no, yeah, and. and but I thought I heard somebody say, if we we were going to raise money for a cause. That was me. Yeah, right. Right. And so and we just need to determine who right. gave that cause. Yeah. It could be me. And I think Derek raised. And that's what I don't health. understand. Didn't you say something about health fair? Or? Yeah. Well, fair. I was going to have the health fair going on for like when you finish the run or race. Right. right. You know, local oh, okay. little health fair oh, expo okay. I got at the school. Okay. Um, but that, and I've got a number of vendors already ready to go with that but so um what was your calls you were thinking to well i was just i just thought walk for your life that's a health positioning right okay. walk for your life and then have a carrot and put wildlife so you'd be running for the wildlife your life wildlife in marvin and it'd be a cute t-shirt you can have the owl and and you raise money for whatever we determined to be the cause. That, that's what I was getting at. I didn't and, understand. And that. We don't know what the cause is. Right, 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 right. If somebody <laughs> said, hey, Bob and Judy, it's going to cost you 10 bucks a head <laughs> to do this walk, but I get a t-shirt, Judy gets a t-shirt, I'm all in. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm donating money to a cause right. that we feel pretty darn good about. So, and whatever the <clears> cause is, Derek, I, I, I don't know yet. Yeah. The heritage it's just an idea. So. Yeah. The Heritage Festival 5K raises money for Carolina waterfowl, and we actually end up having people donate extra money over and above their entry fee because it's for Carolina waterfowl, which they would never do if there wasn't a donation. What do y'all think about this crazy? <coughs> Here we go. Marsh. No. no. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe. There. No. I, know it's, I know I sound like a broken record. No. We're talking about getting the Raptor Center. Yep. What if we told the Raptor Center? Oh, we're going to raise money. We're going to raise money for them. If they'll come out and put on the big show for us. Because they normally charge us. Yeah. Right, Before and they charge there. a lot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, You're on the money. Why, You're why, wouldn't right we, the why wouldn't we do that? How do we tie the Raptor Center into? It's wildlife. More wildlife. 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 It's wildlife. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're rescue as well. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. It would be run for your life wildlife, and the money goes from, and everybody loves the Raptor they do. Center. The money above whatever the teacher. Yeah, they is. definitely they have owls. They, they, have, they have owls. Yeah. And see if they would come out because normally they charge three hundred fifty or four hundred bucks to show up. Yeah. I'm gonna throw out an al not an alternative, but some way to couple it. Yeah. We had a baby fawn that was born on our property, <gasps> and the dogs got a hold of it. And so my father-in-law had to rescue the fawn, and they found a farm in Waxhaw to take oh, it to. It's okay. And it, it's fine. Oh, Look, and we were like number seventeen of the number, you know, the fawns that had been brought in. Mm. Um, any deer. So, and I know that you know the deer are always like a popular right. topic of, around here. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, I mean, we, so there's a, so this is a farm that does rescue yeah, down in Waxhaw. Yeah. Well, and Carolina yeah. waterfowl is in Union County. So, 
Yeah. So for what yeah. that's worth. I like it. Yeah. You can do in addition to. So and Car or, yeah. Carolina waterfowl ends up with snakes and ducks and birds and all kinds of things. I think we could do that. Yeah. I like the idea of the raptor center to try to get them to come in and. Bring an owl. Bring an owl. <laughs> and, <laughs> and a hawk and a falcon. And yeah. A, it, it, it I just want to stand there with the gloves on. They'll probably mm -hmm. let you do that. <laughs> yes. Pictures for the website. For a small yes. fee. For a small fee. Yeah. For a nominal fee. All right. So who's going to, you were going to talk to. I'm still working. I, I, I just emailed the guy again this morning because he hasn't gotten back to me yet. Okay. Jamie did a soft, uh, our, our old finance director did a soft intro to the guy and he never emailed me back. So I just emailed him again. So I'll keep following up with him at the Rocker Center. So that's your, that's, that's going to be your yeah. item. That's me. <coughs> so if we're good with doing the donation thing, when I talk to him, I can say, hey. For the fun run. Yeah. We'd like to, you know, raise money for, you know, you guys, if you guys could come out and, right. you know. I think that's a great way. For, for the first time, we should at least, yeah. I think that's a great way to start. Okay. Because I'm sure that there are plenty of birds that are damaged here that in this county that end up at the Raptor Center. Yeah. Yeah. Even though they're not even in the county, but yeah. we're trying to get them to come out here. Yeah. So. And if they have owls. Well, what do they normally charge for a three fifty four hundred dollars? I'll bet it's that more easily. Than that. Yeah. And then some. Yeah. That's what now that was a court they gave me yeah. about a year or two ago. <laughs> to come yeah. out for March? When, yeah, when we first started March, we couldn't afford it. <laughs> we could have afforded three dollars and fifty cents actually at the time. But I said they might still charge you, but that could be the incentive is that one, whatever you raise, that's what's paying for it. And that's what that's what paying for it. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they get a minimum basically. Yeah. All right, well, I'll talk, I'll talk to them, but I'll use that as kind of a, some leverage to yeah. see if they'll donate instead of we're going to be able to raise more money. I'll let them tell me how much it's going to cost, and then I'll say, well, right. yeah, I got a deal for you. I got it. Do I have a deal for you? Okay. What else, Derek? Um, all right, so I'm going to table the 5K. Look at the walkathon. Pivot. Continue with the health fair. Yes, we're still in a meeting. Blood drive. Um, I did have somebody told me to look into the alpacas. So alpaca, alpaca, alpaca. That um, that that could, that might fit in with the equine. Yeah, uh, I, I can because the uh, oh, the Derek, same, he's gonna take that off your plate. There are a lot of the same people, I think, unless you know some. The people across the street from. Oh yeah, he's my neighbor. Oh, okay. so we alpaca, we started alpaca, alpaca. the discussion. Do we have more alpacas in Marvin than just across the street from here? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh yeah, there's just some some, some free roaming too. ones. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, Wait, did you talk to him, Derek? As part of your... Uh, it, since he's a neighbor of yours, why don't you just... But, uh, but you and I will connect about okay. the equine thing. And, did you yeah. talk to him already? He said he's not opposed to the idea. He just wants to discuss logistics. Okay. Um, yeah. And then I will... I'll look into setting up uh, like a family-friendly disc golf tournament. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'll get with the uh, guys who... Indian Trail and... Union County, who put them on all the time. Don't you think that'd be a good yeah. idea to show show it off and just have oh, yeah. just e even if it's not like a not a tournament, but just no. like an yeah. expo. Yeah, expo. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Exhibition. And are you? I know this is not on topic, but are you are you opening that on Tuesday? No. Oh no, it's not. Okay. We we might have one hole set okay. up for promotional purposes. Okay. But no. Okay. All right, Christina, I have you for nature walks and t-shirts logo. Okay. Bob, garden and art tours. <coughs> and I had food trucks and ice cream. Uh, ice cream. Ice cream. No food truck. No food truck. Got me for equine and uh, yeah. high school. High school. Now equine. you now we're mentioning using Marvin Elementary though as a launching spot for the run, family fun run. For the start, yeah. So should I reach out to them too? Do you Derek want me to just handle the school? He's okay, good. you already yeah, got, I got that. that. Okay. Um, Kim, you're gonna reach out to Firethorn as a backup location. 
I'm gonna wait. Okay. Because yeah, I've already yeah, talked to Firethorn. They're they they're all in to be involved to do something. Like they definitely want to to be involved. So I'm, I'll wait until John knows. Because instead of muddying up the waters, yeah, mm -hmm. we'll just wait. And then the Raptor Center. Yep. Jamie is the band yeah. guy. Joe is the car show guy. Yep. Whether he delegates or not. Yep. I don't have Andy or Bob for anything. Okay. Bob said he'd help with the car stuff, but um, we can put, well, let's put Andy on food trucks. What's Dan doing? Huh? <laughs> he was helping him with a 5K, but there isn't one now, yeah. so don't know. Oh, we'll put Dan on the food trucks. He likes yeah. he likes Andy, Andy so I know. Let's yeah. put Dan on food trucks. See if you're not here. But that's gonna be hard stuff. until we get a date too. Oh yeah. Okay, well, yeah. All right, guys, I gotta go. I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, I think we're thank you guys. I think we're about done. Okay, um, Bob, I will talk to Joe and get you that guy's thank you. name and number. So thanks everybody. Good meeting. And you got my back here. Derek, if you need me to do anything else, let me know. Do we need to? Close it? Or do you yeah. We don't need to excuse me because I'm not a good guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just a quick question. How comfortable? I want to go ahead and try to lock in the uh, ice cream trucks. Uh -huh. And I know it's a long way out, but I want to see, get up with this guy. How comfortable are you with May the 21st? Do you think that's going to be the date? I don't know, Bob. I, I would think so. In some it's, form it's, it depends on the school. It's going to be the school. It's going to be the biggest thing. So when would well, when would we? Have? It could also be how committed we are to to that day. to insisting that we have to have that type of event there at the end of the day. Yeah, because I was going to throw out the idea. This may be logistically impossible, but what if we had it at the new town hall and we like shut down? part of this road for mm -hmm. parking and people had to like walk over to the new new village hall i don't know if that's yeah a, I, I, possible, for but. for a number of hours on a that i yeah. i think that would be pretty challenging you know um but uh I mean, I don't know john if the, Dara, Dara, the neighborhoods would let us park there providence downs or the gates or you know, yeah what, the school but I don't really want to contact the ice cream guy, Derek, until until we until have a date. date. Yeah. He's hoping he's going to have it though by, by next week. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's not too. Oh, so that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what, that was my question. I'm just saying it's it, without having spoken to the new principal yet and him just oh, coming in at this monsoon. No issue. And so yeah, I'm, I, if I don't hear from him in the next day or so, I'll. I'll reach out again and try to get something by Tuesday. Sounds good. Did you have something else for him? Oh, well, I was just going to say, um, uh, I think I heard to just potentially closing the road. I mean, I can look into that, but at the same time, suggesting okay. if we can find alternate places to park, looking at it, I mean, just a volunteer like shuttle service or something. Yeah. And just yeah. having we, we, we used to do that for these events where we would have people park at the high school and shuttle them to the park. And the shut it was like three or four buses that just ran back and forth the whole time. And it was like, back then, 10 years ago, it was $12,000, you know? But your other problem is if there is, we will probably be able to use the high school if there isn't another event going on, right? I mean, Correct. most likely. And if there is another event going on, us parking there is going to be the problem. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's not just using the space, but well, it's Well, and park. it depends on the, what the event is. Because yeah. some of the events might not need much parking. Oh, okay. You could use okay. the parking on the back side of the high school. But there's still, a lot of parking around the high still school. Still $12,000 is crazy. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. For, for, for shuttling. That's right. a lot of sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know, Bob. You know, he's How much, how how much money? That's the question. How much money is Marvin allocating to Marvin Day? I don't know. What is the budget? Know. They, I don't think they even know that yet because it's next year. Yeah, they it's have just fiscal year though. Yeah, fiscal year. So it's, yeah, it's yeah. This fiscal year. So, so what do they have already? Hey, we have not been told. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I, th I don't think it's that they're keeping anything from us. I think they don't. I know. think they have to see where things go with the town hall and other things. And, 
I mean, honestly, you know that's not going to be just right. Oh, exactly you know, what they thought. It'll come over budget. <laughs> because, you because, think? Because, because, yeah, things are bad. Yeah, yeah, and stuff. Bad, yeah. Having just good. built a house, I can promise you it'll be late and over budget. Yeah. Uh, All right. Do uh, we, we have a meeting next week, John? Yeah, we do. Next on the Tuesday. Yeah, that was on my calendar, so I just want to make sure. Okay, so the next item here is uh, board mem. Uh, we well, Derek reviewed the the action item and ongoing action list at least for Marvin Day. Yeah, and I we'll was get a more complete one from. Oh, okay, you've got well, just small, yeah, the small, small things where have all the ministers sending out reminders for National Night Out the next week. I mean, that's a small I got action you type you list. And then um, potentially also reaching out to the planning board and other, I mean, for, uh, for volunteers volunteer market market. or even assistance with direction on whatever, um, as well as for once we get the sponsorship stuff, we're going to continue to or, um, start sending that for your guys' future to have discussed. I know those, those are just small act things, yeah. but making sure that that gets done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, board member comments? <laughs> yeah. um, Good me. All right. And, and thanks uh, for your big donation. Doug. Do I uh, <laughs> hear a motion on the I table? It's not on the notes. <laughs> oh, it so is. Add a zero. <laughs> Do I hear a motion on the table uh, to adjourn the Village of Marble so Parks Recreation and Greenways Board meeting here at 1029 a.m. Okay. on July 27th? So moved. And a second. Any further discussion? No. All in favor say aye. 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 John, we'll see do you want me to make this so that it's printable? I mean, so it's John, visible. Can you do it? I want to reach out to you. On here? If yeah. I can get those names right. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's in Google Docs. The names the are the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Land of Marshall. Yeah. I know that. We are. You know, get a.